Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today what we're going to be doing is I am going to be showing you the new Urban Decay Robin Eisenberg Naked Palette. Uh, it is so gorgeous. I got this gifted to me from Influencer and so we're going to be doing a whole look that I picked out that I think is just so adorable. Actually it's kind of like really ethereal. This is a more of an ethereal type of look, which I know everybody's on the flex of the fall looks right now, but um, I kind of want to do something different because everyone's doing fall looks right now. So if you want to see something different than just a fall look today, then keep watching and subscribe and hit that notification bell, the like button. I've been loving all the fall drops, don't get me wrong, but we got plenty of time for fall. The eyeshadow primer potion from Urban Decay, it is amazing. Always, always reach for this before I use my Urban Decay palettes. They just work perfectly. All right guys, so let's unpackage this baby. So this is the outside packaging. And um, like I said, it's from Robin Eisenberg. It comes, it's 12 shades. Like their normal naked palettes. This is the packaging here. Look at that, it's so gorgeous. Oh my gosh, it's like 3D. And then you open it up, it has the brush in it like they always give. And then it has multiples of mattes and shimmers and really pretty ethereal colors. There are five mattes and then the rest are shimmers. So we're going to be doing a really cool look with this. I've seen some really iconic looks being done with this palette. So first off, let's put our primer potion one. Okay, first things first, we have the swatches. Now, I have to admit, the mattes did not swatch as well as like the shimmers. These were just like one finger in, so buttery, so nice. The mattes, some of them were kind of chalky, starting from the lightest. Um, and it took a couple dips in to like really get it to stay, but um, to like really give the color payoff. But yeah, this is what the mattes and the shimmers look like. Started, so I'm gonna be doing something really cool. This look right here, I'm gonna be attempting it, so. Let's see how it goes. So I did bring this Morphe um, to maybe help me carve a couple things out. Or this House Labs, rather, House Labs. This color is in Cobalt Matte. And see if I can't carve out my eyes a little bit that way. Because I really like how they have the carving. So let's just go ahead and start. So I bring it back under the eye. So far, super cool. All right, so I think that turned out actually really good. So we're going to go ahead and fill in first with this one, and then we're gonna also put that on top. The one is called Home Planet, the other is called Ice Crater. So there was a little bit of fallout I have to clean up. That's the mats. See what I mean about the mats? They're kind of like chalky. It's kind of like having a lot of fallout. We're gonna use Alien Babe. That one right there. I think that one's perfect for it.
You guys see all that fallout? That is not cute. Oh God, it's like made a little crazy thing on my eyes. I'm gonna have to fix that. Oh wow, look, look at that. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just going to use my little mascara. It is this item by Beauty, Item Beauty um, Volumizing Juice Boost, Boost Juice. You can either choose lilac or blue. Let's see what the, the lilac is supposed to, the lilac volumizes and then the blue lengthens. I always could use lengthening, so we're gonna go for this. Really like them. Holy shit, look at that. That's really good. Those are not mine. Like, <laughs> I never get that. That's amazing. All right, so we're just going to do... Definitely get it, by the way. Um, I'm just going to do some liner. This is from Lady Bold. And that is, I believe, Too Faced. And then we're going to break out the old Too Faced melted latex blue right here and put that on top. And yes, it's old, but I love it. And they don't make it anymore, so. I'm gonna enjoy it. I love how it just has like the little pinch of blue in it. All right, guys, so this is the finished look. Now, as far as the palette goes, I don't think it's worth the $54 that it is at all um i love the packaging i think i feel like most of the money is gonna go into the packaging um but like it's a lot of fallout i didn't really dip into these too hard and yeah the fallout has been insane especially in the mats the mats are really really like chalky now of course this the eyeshadow potion the eye primer eyeshadow primer potion this is always a great, a great and a wonderful product. Always the um, all-nighter setting spray. Always the perfect setting spray. I use that all the time. In fact, I spray that on before I put my makeup on today as my primer. And then this item beauty, I think honestly, I'm the most impressed with this out of this whole video. Um, but yeah, if you guys are interested in this color story, I think we've seen a lot like this already. Um, you know go for it and stuff but maybe I can use like a little bit of this I'm putting some of this uh, maroon light color on ever so lightly as like my blush since the other blush came off yeah still not that impressed I mean it's not made for cheeks but still um if you want to spend the money of course go ahead but for me i wouldn't spend the money i got this from influencer to give my honest review my honest review is not worth the 54 dollars. but i did do a nice look with it but the colors were not easy to work with and um the color story is interesting it kind of makes sense yet it really doesn't so um I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this content, please follow, subscribe, um, give me a like, give me um, a comment of anything you'd like to see. I have a few more things coming up, try on hauls, other makeup that I've just purchased that's new. And um, yeah, so I will see you guys next time. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your time. And bye-bye.